Yeah. Hi, we're first things first. You guys need to know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're first things first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Can we reset? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Hey, we're first things first. From Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you want to do it? We're so bad at the intros. Hi, we're First Things First from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we're here with you on Black Squirrel Radio. I'm Chris, I play bass, and I'm the interim lead singer. <laughs> I'm Steve, I play drums. And I'm Chris, and I play guitar and sing. I've known yeah. Steve for two years, and I've known Chris for ten years. Yeah, I met I met Steve uh, when I, I directed their music video uh, for First Things First last year, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. last, I, May. Yeah, last yeah. May. Last May, and um, mm -hmm. before I was playing with them, and um, got to know the songs and the guys. And I've known Chris uh, since way back in high school, and we played in bands together all through high school. Um, but, I mean, really only just getting to know each other as a group, probably like a couple weeks. A month at max. Yeah. This, you know, this is a new <laughs> dynamic. This is a three-piece with a new member, and it's, it's yeah. different than what it was before. <laughs> Pretty much just getting this tour over with. And uh, no, I don't mean to say it like that, but uh, our lead singer left us right before tour, so... Everything we had going at that point is now kind of taking a step back. So we're looking to rebuild and just start it. Do a good tour, have fun, finish out the year, and then start new from there. But, you know, we've been driving a lot, yeah. um, going from show to show, and, and almost every day we're sitting and working on different songs and ideas and stuff like that and practicing. So, you know, while I think the, the small term goal is to get through this tour without messing up badly <laughs> or running out of money or getting in an accident, you know, um, or fighting. The bigger goal is to kind of recalibrate the band and put it on a new path. Start fresh it. almost, but not start too fresh. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, really more than anything anymore is personal life experience. Like, obviously, like, have the music that's, like, the soundtrack for that. But, like, what I really try and take from is, like, from people I meet, places I go, experiences I have when I'm there. And that kind of fuel whatever comes next musically. Uh, other bands, too. You can learn something from the smallest band or the biggest band. So I try to grab something from every single band we play with. I think, I think a combination of both of what you said for me is, I mean, it's really, like, in the music industry, you seemingly start to know everyone immediately. Like, oh, I don't know you, but I know you, but you know her. And it kind of switches around. And as you play and grow and write and be a part of a community, um, you know, you start to meet all these great people and all these great musicians. And they, they will really influence how, like, how an actual sound or, or direction can be sometimes. You know, unintentional or unintentional. Does it become a challenge sometimes, writing or coming up with things based on personal experience or from other influencers? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of times, like I'll catch myself writing something, and it's like, and the melody's the same as like a song that I've known for like ten years. Like, oh man. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, like I gotta do it. I gotta start again. Uh, so yeah, like, and then just there's times where you, you hit a roadblock mentally, and you have to step away from it for a little bit, and then revisit things that maybe you wrote two years ago because you were in a different place then, and maybe you know it brings out a little bit more fun in the songwriting process now than just trying to write what's relevant. I mean, everything's music. I mean, you can sit here and just. So, I mean, everything is music. So, yeah. I mean, it's I always around. Music all day, every day. I always try and think of riffs in my head while I'm at work or lyrics. I write them down in my notes on my iPhone. And it's like I constantly have something going on in my head that's musically based. And then I get home and I watch, like, sports. <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to tell. Yeah. We've gotten to a point in society where uh, almost everything in life is 
has a little bit of backing by music. If you watch News Center, it starts off with a song. If you watch a sports game, it's dun dun dun. You know, you start to associate music with experience. And for us as musicians, it's just kind of the big picture where it's not so much relating music to the experience, it's about relating the experience to the music. And driving all day and sitting and writing and, you know, all that stuff, it, you know, kind of all part of it. Yeah. I like what you said about, like, the sports, if you notice the NFL, like, da -da 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 -da, it's like, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. I like think of Christmas every time that goes. I'm like, wow, what? Blew your mind. Carry on over and sing Sunday Night Football. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I want to go overseas. I think that would be really cool. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. That's really what I want to do. That's what you're looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're this, this close to it. California. Was it great? <laughs> uh, well, it was on tour. So you mean just drive to just California? Drive, <laughs> drive all the way back? No, yeah. Yeah, well, California. The furthest we've probably ever driven was what? Uh, that uh, break show in Vineland? Yeah, we drove down the Vineland, which is kind of fun. It was like a two hour drive for like a 15 minute set. Yeah, then we had to turn around and come home. So it's kind of <laughs> crappy. Is it as nice as they say it is? What? what? In California? Oh, uh, California. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Have a lot of money though when you go. Yeah. Because it's expensive. I always wanted to record a record in like the snowy mountains of Vermont in like the dead of winter for like two months. I think that'd be really cool. It's hard to say because <laughs> all three of us are completely different people with completely different wants and needs. And like one of the core values that we all have instinctively, and I'm not sure why, we we're talking about why do we have this, but we're all from Philadelphia. And for some reason that's like a brand. Yeah, it's home. You know, it's like some people are like, oh, I'm from um, Wisconsin, but I moved to Ohio, and now I'm, I'm in Ohio. But if I move to Germany for the next 70 years, I'm still a Philadelphian, and I've lived in Germany. You're so proud to say you're from. So it's kind of like the theme in this band is like home. You know, wherever you may be from, like that's what our theme and influence is. So it'd be tough for it to be like based out of somewhere else, I think. Because yeah. that's I mean, what if draws we all got older and like we're the band started right. making a lot of, and they were like, hey, we can afford to go live and in you're Southern in Nashville, California. And you're in Seattle. And yeah, all but like when it's time whatever. to tour, it's still a you can all just fly. Band. I mean, the biggest bands in the world, all the members don't live within, you know, like they're all over each other. Four. 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 <laughs> oh man, that's an amazing question. That's the first time I've ever heard. That's that. the most difficult question I've ever been asked. Cause like everyone always puts together, like, who would your top, like who would you who make you your mega band? Yeah. Knowing yeah. what I know now, <laughs> or just any. Can I can I go yeah. back in time and play it? Sure. Or are they of brought course. to life here? Anytime. I would go and play the songs that the Beatles wrote for the guy that signed the Beatles. Yeah. And be like, yep, that's I wrote cool. these. <laughs> that's cool. that's such a hard um, I would have liked to have performed in front of Jimi Hendrix because I go pretty wild on stage. Like I, I like to move around. And <laughs> yeah, like yeah, Moses or something. And he was out of his mind. That would so. be cool. Jim. Noah, Moses, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, all those biblical people. It would be cool to go see back then. Perform. Are we playing back then? Yeah, we're not playing back then. We don't have to go. We show up and be like, cool, this isn't working. It's like that. <laughs> it's cool to go see what it was like back then. <laughs> George, George Washington, all this, you know, come closer. John Adams. Because <laughs> he was a badass. And I think all he of the presidents. He would have yeah, appreciated it. John Adams, no, he was a legit badass. Now you don't have to tour like you used to to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's the internet, which is just filth. It's ton, tons of music. Back then you had to go out and actually see somebody to hear about. So it's a lot easier to before you go out on tour to have the small the small fan base in, in these cities that will come out and see you. So the internet's it's the best thing that's ever happened for music and the worst thing that's ever happened for music. Yeah, like it's 
it's easy for Steve to book a tour because of the internet because it's not like you have to call them or you know wait for a response or call somebody to get hold of them. It's like all right, well I can email them, Facebook them. But because of the them. internet, there's a million bands trying to do the exact same thing we're trying to do. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's the best thing in the worst thing. Write the greatest record of all time. Use social media. There's so many bands that don't use like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all the way it's intended to be. They kind of just have. They kind of just have one. They, they use. Don't really do they use it. all of that as Facebook. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not really. I mean, if you go on Facebook, we have eleven thousand likes on it. You post something, it says like three hundred people saw it. You know, if you go on, if you go on Instagram, everybody saw it. You go on Twitter, everybody saw it. So I mean, it's using those sites right, and knowing your audience, knowing how to get to, to your audience, and knowing how to connect with them. That's what's that's what's gonna help you out. In the long run. Absolutely, there were four kids at our show last night who knew all the words to our songs in Pittsburgh. We'd only played Pittsburgh once before. They wanted to buy merch before we and they got were, there. Yeah, and they weren't <laughs> at the show in Pittsburgh the last time we they played Pittsburgh. They could not wait for the business to be opened. Yeah. <laughs> we are throwing it at them and so like, they back away. The last song we let two of them come up and like sing the last chorus, and that was really, really cool. And that's like something that's really cool for me, like play, like having been touring pretty rigorously. I mean, like, the past two years since I've joined the band, we've done a lot of touring. Going overseas? And it's the... Like, that's like instant gratification. It's, it's like, I could play to one person and be miserable, like, one night, but then, like, the next night, like, two people know the words of my songs, and boom. Yeah, just interaction in general, yeah. I think, is kind of, like, the common theme. Like, you were talking about, like, how do you, how are you going to, like, kind of rise through this digital age? And I think the best way to do that is to ignore the digital age and go back to talking to people and hanging out. Like, we... Anybody who's there to talk to us or hang out with us, like, we're all big Frisbee guys. And we're like, let's go out back and, like, throw the Frisbee around. And, like, yeah, to some people that could seem corny, but to other people, like, I was in those shoes when I was 13. Yeah. Standing next to him, being like, oh, my God, that's the singer of this local band. Yeah. And if he would just look at us, we're like, oh, hello, hello, you know. Being invited for Frisbee or to hang out and, you know, like, if, you know, they're old enough, I'd be like, let's go get a beer or, like, t you know, catch up and talk. Like, that's the kind of interaction that people never forget. There's so many bands that they come, they, they, you know, they pull up to a show, they get inside, they load in, they play, they, sit, they just sit at the merch table, when it's done, they, they load everything out and leave. There's no real, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Not to, like, talk doing? down, I don't want to talk down anyway, mm -hmm. but, like, yeah, you got to learn to hang out with people. Because when you come back again, just because you hung out with them, they will come back. And they'll bring friends with you, and that's how everything so that's the best way to push through the digital age. And then you make friends. Then you have friends all over, all over the country, all over the world. And then if, if you're, you're not, can you imagine if, if you're, you're not drove, touring? You this is basically the perspective of it from our point of view. Can you imagine driving forty hours to a party that was off the hook, right? And you get to the party, and there's ten people there, and you're like, "Well, I drove all the way here," and then those ten people don't talk to you or don't hang out with you. You know, it's kind of like. Man, I don't even care about the party. We're here, let's have a good time, but like, let's hang out. And that's the mentality that most bands do not possess. Which is why we're going to go ahead. We have to party too. <laughs> <laughs> For aspiring musicians, just play. Just play it, love it, practice. Get good. Get Understand good. Get very music. good. If you're a drummer, Understand. play with a click. Understand music. Understand how all the inner beings. You can't. I mean, you can't just start playing and put everything out, and you're gonna become. You're gonna be huge. You gotta learn to talk to people. You gotta learn to network people. You gotta learn to tour. You gotta learn to play for no no money. You gotta do all that stuff. You know. So do all that and, and just keep doing it. And keep doing it. it. Yeah, and have fun because have fun. The biggest thing is have fun. Quit. Yeah, like you, it it could end. You could you know you could have a situation at home. Say you have a girlfriend and you have you know. You accidentally get her pregnant and you're 19 years old and your life ends, like, 
just take your life and <laughs> Well, your life then. Well, no, no, your well, life that, then. Like, that, he's that, there. The next, the next five ends. years of your life, <laughs> see ya. Well, like, that life and That, but like, yeah. but that like, will take, ruin your life. Just take every time. day. Just take every day in with stride if you're a musician. And you, yeah, then. you can quit at any time. But, like, just if you play, quit, you, you just go back to home and you live your normal life. And you don't get to do all the other things that you could have done. So just don't quit. You find out on the road that money is not as valuable as the experiences of memories. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like driving all over the country playing music. I mean, you can't we, put a price... I mean, and there's obviously nothing like being broke like gas, the last week and a half coming home because you're just uh, like... Uh, every day is like, all right, Taco Bell like once or twice. like. But then you sit in the van, you're like, yeah. oh, do you remember we did that, that, that show, that show, this show, and then like all this stuff happens. Then you get home, you tell all your friends. Niagara like, Falls. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we were in Niagara Falls yesterday. We wow. were... And it's cool I, I hit golf balls in the Rio Grande over the summer. It was crazy. Just moments like that. That's the stuff that, when this is all said and done, because you can't do music forever. You yeah. just can't. Unless you and, have all these things. Yeah. Or Bruce. <laughs> and you're going to get, there's going to be a point where you're like 70, 65, and you have like grandkids being like, oh, tell me a story. And like, you can be like, oh, yeah, like, I did this. And I'm like, grandpa, what? <laughs> and that's cool. Yeah, you like, know, that's cool like, that's cool. My, you know, he did that. You know, I know. Because now, like, I think about, like, my grandparents and, like, my grandfather telling me, like, war stories and, like, this happening and growing up in the Depression and all that stuff. And I'm just like, that's another, that's, like, written out of a book because I don't experience that. So, I want to have those stories. This is my way of getting them. You know? I actually write all of, them, all of our stories. <laughs> and it's right, I, I, Yeah, I keep a daily track of... And it's cool back to go home and tell yeah. your friends all the cool stuff while they just sit at home and work really bad jobs, so... That's Some of my friends have really good jobs and have awesome lives, and I'm super jealous of them, but they're super jealous of me at the same time, because I've seen... Them they have them. awesome lives in this one little area. We have awesome lives all over the country, and overseas, and all that cool stuff via the internet. I feel like I'm going overseas soon. Though. <laughs> it seems to be the theme. Yeah, I just have no... Oh, no. <laughs> he, never, he never tells me anything. <laughs> We Next question. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I have. That's it? Yeah, cool. so thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Very Thank that was you. a lot of fun. Cool. Awesome. Should We're I stop so the camera now or just keep going? Just keep, keep going. going. We'll probably just keep start chatting each other. Yeah, you. Just chit Hello. <laughs> Let's keep this story going. Stuck on repeat, traveling straight in an upward mode.